It is said that long before we had the forecasting tools that we have today, many used their surroundings to predict the weather. Many of these observations are the basis of weather proverbs that have been passed down for centuries. Centuries ago, folks did not have television and radio. They certainly didn't have satellite, and goodness knows they didn't have the internet. So they had to figure out what the weather was going to be. Janice Stillman is the editor of the Old Farmer's Almanac. She says that farmers relied on the weather instincts of animals to plan farming schedules. They really looked to nature. They looked to what animals did. They looked to changes in the trees and the air. They looked to clouds around the moon. And they looked to see repeating patterns of, again, these animals and other events around them because it was all they knew and all they had to rely on. Stillman says that the old farmer's almanac never uses these proverbs in their yearly weather predictions and simply scatters them throughout the publication for fun little reads. Like, if a cow stands with its tail to the west, the weather is said to be fair. If a cow grazes with its tail to the east, it's likely to turn sour. Now, there is some truth. And of course, the animals graze with their tail to the wind, so they might get the scent of a predator if it sneaks up behind them. So the wind will help catch the scent of that predator. I always notice when a big storm is coming that the robins will sing a lot, but then right before the storm comes, they become, all the birds become very quiet. It's almost eerie. Livestock manager Heidi Wolliver has been working with farm animals for 12 years and agrees that when sheep gather in a huddle, tomorrow we will have a puddle. They'll really flock up in bad weather and they will form like a, a unit where they all come together and stand super close together. And then even if it's if there's lambs, they'll especially try to keep the lambs in the middle. Heidi says that animals are sensitive to change in barometric pressure. As a result, they are responding and adapting to approaching weather as opposed to predicting it. Sharks will swim to deeper water when an area of low pressure moves in to feel safe from an impending storm. And birds fly high when the weather will be dry. While some species seem to have a connection to meteorology, others have garnered attention through myths, rumors, or just silly fun. Reporting from Glen Oaks, Audrey Puente, Fox 5 News.